What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose Osuna and JD on Twitter. And today is going to be a hell of a video. Today is going to be a hell of a video. Today, I am going to be giving a New York Yankees rant. And I'm just going to be letting out. I'm going to let out my emotions. I'm going to let out my feelings about this atrocious baseball team and what the heck is going on in the Bronx. Let's go. I'm not calling for the firing of Brian Cashman. I'm not going to do that. My thing is why in the world does he have so much job security when his team with the second most highest payroll in baseball is the third team in the AL East behind the Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays? Who we just got swept by in a weekend series. I'm talking about Boston. That's what I'm talking about. Why is that happening? Oh, well, you can't blame Cashman. You can't blame Cashman. He signs all these good players. They just get hurt. That's the issue. Why are they getting hurt, Senor Cashman? Hmm? Who the heck is Aaron Boone to be leading this Yankee team as their manager. He's complacent. He is fine where he is. He is not hungry. And if I was the general manager of this team, come at me all you want. Say what you want to say. I'm hiring either one of the and Mark Marcus Thames or Harkley or Mendoza as the manager of the rest of the year. Heck why not? I'll even go as far to say Buck Showalter probably deserves a better opportunity than this guy, Boone. And I understand Buck Showalter ain't that ain't a championship winner. I get that. But at least he'll be able to take us to the damn playoffs instead of being third in the AL East. This this team sucks. This team is not good. You think we're gonna beat the Dodgers? <laughs> we couldn't even beat the damn Red Sox. You know who their best player is? Some second year pro named Alex Verdugo. Think about that. Their ace is some guy named Nathan Ivaldi that comes from the New York Yankees facility. We had Ivaldi first. Why couldn't we turn him into that player that has been killing us? Why couldn't we win an extra innings yesterday, Mr. Bronx Bombers? Why the heck did we fire Joe Girardi after making it to the ALCS in 2017? Why? Is it because he pushed Mr. Gary Sanchez too hard? Did he say, Gary Sanchez, you have to do this and that? And Gary was like, I don't want to do that. Let me tell Mr. Cashman. Mr. Cashman pulls up. He's like, that's my Thurman Munson. That's my Thurman Munson. That's the next Thurman Munson. You can't talk to him like that. You're fired. Hey, Mr. Aaron Boone, Mr. Complacent, you want to come in here and you want to be our manager for the next, I don't know, four years? Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Zero championships have been provided from us. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm being, I'm being too mean. I'm being too mean. Come on. Aaron Boone ha has had back-to-back 100-win -back seasons. Pfft. Don't even worry about it, guys. This guy is the best thing that the Yankees have had. In no, he's not. He's not. Stop. Stop it already. We need, we need to start. We need to stop. We need to stop this, okay? Yankee fans are moping around too damn much. I can't go to a Yankee game because I'm trapped at home. I can't leave yet, all right? Because of this damn pandemic. But listen, to those who can go to Yankee Stadium, do something about it. Boo Aaron Boone. Boo Brian Cashman. Boo Hale Steinbrenner. Call for justice. Yankee fans, we're known as the biggest a-holes in the world live up to it live up to those expectations because at the end of the day 27 27 championships and we haven't won anything the last decade the 2010s were the first decade that we did not win a championship since i don't know when this team thinks that they could win like they're playing MLB The Damn Show 21. This ain't MLB The Show, buddy. 
You don't know if some guy named Johnny on the bench is going to hit a home run to win the walk-off game. And the Lynx will say no because he's batting 175. But who knows? Maybe he hits it. Maybe some guy called Aaron Boone. So the backup catcher. Maybe he comes out. Maybe, I don't even know if he was catching. I don't even care. I don't care about Aaron Boone right now. But he's, I'm just using him as an example. Nobody thought he would hit that walk-off home run. Nobody. But it's baseball. Anything could happen any given day. But the Yankees are like, hey, man, the computer say no. I'm not going to do it. You know what? Let's not even worry about it. Let's just let let's just let's just sign a bunch of 16 year olds and hype them up as the next Mike Mike Trout, Barry Bonds, and Ken Griffey, and let's see what happens. Estevan Florial went one for three in his first game with the Yankees this year. Ooh, he got a, he had an extra base hit. That's pretty nice. He had a strikeout, an ugly one. He was signed at what the age of 16, and he's 22. Why is he just getting called up to the majors? And why did he get called down after one day? Why is Chris Gittins just getting the opportunity? Why is Brett Gardner starting in the outfield? Now, I understand Miguel Andujar is atrocious. He's atrocious in the outfield. Absolutely terrible. I get that. But he needs to get bats. We all know that Miguel Andujar could be an easy two uh, over 25 home runs and over 90 RBI type of guy each and every single year. We know that. We know that. We, he could be that. He did that in his rookie year. Let the kids play, damn it. Brian Cashman, you've never been good with prospects. You've just never been good with prospects. When, when, when you fully took over the team after the boss died, you just haven't been able to get the job done, my man. If Aaron, Ho if Aaron Hicks did not get hurt on opening day 2017... Aaron Judge would have never been the beast he became. He will never have became the face of New York, the face of baseball, if it wasn't for Hicks getting injured. And you're lucky, Cashman, because Judge becoming the superstar he did saved He saved you from getting a lot of criticism and hate. Yankee fans are tired. We expect greatness because greatness has been delivered to those before us. I don't want to have to sit here and talk with Met fans and talk about how their team is exceeding their team's expectations while ours are underwhelming. We suck. We're the Bronx Bombers. We shouldn't suck. We should never suck. We've had people like Derek Jeter, Babe Ruth, Luke Gehrig, Mickey Mantle, and the list just goes on and on and on and on and on. Play for us. Mariano Rivera. Dude, Reggie Jackson. Come on. Paul O'Neill, come on, David Cohn, come on. Why don't these guys nowadays just want to get a base hit? Everything is home run or go home. Gary Sanchez, I don't want you to hit a home run. Get a damn base hit. I want you to say, I want you, I want to see you get a double. I want to see you get a single. I don't want to see you get a home run and then strike out the next 20 at bats and get hit another home run. I want to see consistency out of this New York baseball team. What is going on in Yankeeville? Why are we playing like the Stankies? What is going on? Fix it. Trade for Scherzer. And don't trade for swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes, Joey Gallo. Because if you do that, you're just adding another sub 200 ER, uh, sub 200 batting average, leading the league in strikeouts, home run hitting, Outfielder. We don't need that. At least Aaron Judge knows how to get base hits. I wish I could say that about everybody else on this damn team. Glaber Torres is one of our only strong sunshines. Yo, I can't wait. I can't wait in a few years when we don't even have to worry about pitching anymore. Because Corey Kluber, he hits a no-hitter. No more. No-hitter, no more. He gets on a 60-day IO. That's tough. Jamison Tyone. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, very inconsistent. Um, who else? Her Herman, eh, not bad. But he definitely got to work on his stuff. Dude, pick up Scherzer, solidify the pitching rotation, and get me some damn wins, man. 
we're the Bronx Bombers. We need to start acting like it. Get a damn base hit. Derek Jeter didn't hit too many home runs. And he's a Hall of Famer. There's ways to become a Hall of Famer besides getting so many damn home runs. Right now, the home run leader isn't even a Hall of Famer. Barry Bonds is not a Hall of Famer right now. He should be, but he's not. So quit the crap. You aren't the baby bombers anymore. This isn't 2017 when low, where expectations were low. Win some damn games. And win to play in October. I don't want to have to sit here and see the damn Boston Red Sox be ahead of us in standings. Got that? Thank you. It's been Jose Osano Shade on Twitter, and I'm tired of this nonsense. Peace.